Hello, uh, we are back here at Moody Distance Learning. I'm Christian Martinson here with Professor Elizabeth Smith. We are continuing on the topic of the domains of human development and we are going to touch on today some decision-making skills or uh, another title could be using the domains for change. Uh, another title, we're in the titles today, um, could be Life Management 101. So Elizabeth, I'll leave it up to you. Why don't I explain this, uh, this diagram here and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so um, maybe I'll do a little background first. If you look, listen to the lecture, hopefully, of what are the four domains of human development, these are where you can take basically how a human being is kind of created by God and made up and mm -hmm. how you can, within a framework, try to make sense of, of how we develop and grow and change and be as human beings. Um, and then once you have an idea of these four domains, understanding also the product of emotions um, as a result of these, you then, we talked about, the next lecture we talked about was um, in each of these domains, um, how to identify issues within each of them. So now that hopefully, let's say you're, again, you can talk with your kids, this can be in ministry, you could be doing a counseling session with someone or just helping out a friend. Yeah. You're talking to someone, they're telling you about their life, you've kind of got all the information they're telling you and it's organized and you're kind of getting a handle on what the different issues are and which issues are the most important, you've now assessed or come to the conclusion that mm -hmm. this person has a potential for change mm -hmm. and they are motivated to change. Yeah. Okay, well that's great. So let's use an example of, um, this is an easy one, let's say somebody wants to become more physically fit mm -hmm. because one of the domains of development is physical. Mm -hmm. All right, well the first thing they have to do is have a goal. Mm -hmm. And the reason this is so important, um, Christian, have you ever played archer? Have you ever done archery with a bow and arrow? I have. I'm okay. awesome at it. Okay. When you do Thanks it, for asking. do you, absolutely. Do you usually have a target? Usually, yes. Right. Yes. And I don't need one all the time. I can have fun without it, but usually, yes. Right. But if you want to feel like you've accomplished something, I do like, you think I having like. that target kind of helps you feel that success? Absolutely. Versus Especially the, if I'm being competitive with someone else. Very good. Yeah. Or even competitive with yourself. With myself, yes, sure. I can do that. But if I just gave you a bow and arrows and stuck you out in the middle of a field and say, have at it, you'd mm -hmm. be sitting there all day throwing arrows out into the field but really hitting at nothing. I'd probably be killing some deer to take home to provide for my family. Yeah, at least I'd like to think I so. I really don't think you're I've that never, good. I've never done that. But. Yeah, but we could try sometime maybe. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I like the dream. But think about the target. The target is actually what lets you know if you really are good, Sure. if you're hitting the mark, if yeah. you're finding success. Yeah. That's how to think of your goal. What's the target? What are you aiming for? So yeah. you have to have a goal in mind. Now as you're trying to reach this goal, okay, so for mm -hmm. this person we're looking at the domain of physicality. Mm -hmm. They want to become more fit. The next thing you have to look at are tasks. Mm -hmm. Now to define tasks, they are steps that are created that lead you toward your goal. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like the word tasks, you can use the word steps. Mm -hmm. But whatever tasks or steps you set up for yourself, they have to lead you toward the goal, not away from it. Another way to think about this is they're like incremental deadlines. Oh, yeah. I do this, and then I do this. Mm -hmm. So you're having a path toward mm -hmm. the goal. Um, then the third area here is assessment. Mm -hmm. That means that as you have a goal and you set up your tasks, you actually need to evaluate your progress. It needs to be measurable. If you are not finding success incrementally and you're not mm -hmm. moving toward the goal, you're going to kill your motivation. Yeah. You can have all the potential for change in the world, but if you are not in some way finding success or moving toward it, you are going to give up. Yeah. So those are the three areas. Mm -hmm. um, I want to break it down a little bit more for us. Okay. Um, so we have, let's look at, so if the goal is physicality, we're trying to get more in shape, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you the question. When it comes to tasks or steps, what are maybe some steps that someone could take to become more physically fit? Uh, you can uh, find a workout plan. Very good. Exercise. Yeah. Yes. Um, you would maybe address some things you want to do with your diet. Yes. Not as many M&Ms. Yes. Not as many M&Ms. Right. Um, or not as many deep dish pizzas or... Right. Watch you your know, carbs. The, Watch the your carbs, sugar. The carbs are good. Uh, probably not snacking on my children's snacks and candy right. they can take a lot more than I can. Yeah. Stealing candy from a baby not a good idea. Well my Never. kids like to share and I like to 
<laughs> help them learn those lessons. And I, if I'm there, it's convenient. But yes, le less of those things would be good. Okay. Uh, what about sleep? Sleep would be great. Yeah. I feel out of control of that at the moment mm. with two young boys, but right. uh, it is very important. Yes. Yes. So physical fitness can actually, when, and when you sit down with somebody, and let's say they're just really frustrated with how they're feeling physically, mm -hmm. you can look at these different areas that are in the domain of the yep. physical realm, yep. and then to say, okay, well, within this, as we kind of make a list, mm -hmm. what do they want to do? And from that, you create your steps, mm -hmm. and then it can actually be measurable. Yeah. You can say, okay, at the end of the week. How yeah. many times did you exercise? How yeah. much sleep did you get? Mm -hmm. What did you do to try to create that time yeah. to be able to eat properly, exercise, or sleep well? Yeah. Okay, so that's how that kind of works together. Um, let's yeah. go through another um, example. Let's look actually at spiritually. Okay. Let's say someone feels like in their relationship with Christ, um, they just kind of dry. They're kind okay. of at a, at a point where they're just not uh, feeling as close or as profitable. They're not seeing growth in their life. Mm -hmm. So um, that would be a domain of spiritually. And the problem is they just feel really dry. Okay, well, then they need to look and say, all right, what are some steps that we can take? Well, one of the things mm -hmm. we want to look at under steps is to look at their resources. Mm -hmm. And there's a number of things, and when you look at resources, you need to consider. One you have to look at that person's own effort and how much is required. Okay. If, like, let's say for yourself, you have two young children, and let's say, man, I just cannot have a regular time to mm -hmm. really dig into the Word. Mm -hmm. Reality is, you may actually have to sacrifice more sleep or sacrifice mm -hmm. something in your schedule to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an effort. Mm -hmm. And is that is that even something that you can do at this time? So you have to look at effort. Another mm -hmm. is skills. Do you have the necessary ability to do this? Um, time. How much time is going to be required to do this? Mm -hmm. um, motivation. That's kind of the emotional value. Someone may mm -hmm. say, "Okay, I have. I'm going to do the effort. I have the skills and the time, but I'm really just. I'm not highly motivated. That that would be actually something that might lead you away mm -hmm. toward your goal, and that's a problem. Sure. Um, another would be risk. Something to think through as we try to achieve our goals mm -hmm. under steps is. What do you risk if you don't accomplish this? If you mm -hmm. don't take this step, are you sabotaging yourself? What mm -hmm. is the risk involved? Mm -hmm. um, another is sacrifice. Mentioned this a little bit before, the cost. If we are going to change, a cost is always involved. Mm -hmm. Change never occurs without a cost, and that needs to be evaluated uh, and understood. And the last is what's called self-efficacy or confidence. You can have enough effort and skills and time and motivated and you know what's going to happen if you don't do it and you're willing to sacrifice mm -hmm. but if you don't believe you can mm -hmm. if you have no confidence that this is going to get you toward your goal or that you can do it yeah that's a major issue that's going to step stop in the way that's just self-sabotage right there yeah so let's say somebody's like i want to spiritually grow i'm seeing what it is i need to be more in the word i want to dig it out mm -hmm. um then you can assess and begin to evaluate that in each of those different things that you're pouring into this, making sure that every step you take, what is the purpose and mm -hmm. is it accomplishing you toward getting to your goal? Mm -hmm. um, and then with every step you take, looking at the consequences and rewards. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're going to find, again, that idea of incremental success and that's going to build into your motivation. Yeah. So even though I might be losing sleep and I know there's a sacrifice and a cost, Mm -hmm. As I am really digging into God's Word and doing some Word study and spending time in prayer, I am finding that my relationship with Christ, my love for Him, my excitement on my faith mm -hmm. is growing. Mm -hmm. um, and we need, it, it's, sometimes I think we expect for our change to be kind of like a genie in a bottle. Mm -hmm. It's just going to pop up one day and it's right. all going to be different. Right. No, it's not instantaneous. It's not a McDonald's mentality. It's more of a progress. Yeah. Um, I, I would say in all of this for change, the thing I would also bring up is to think about the difference between mountain climbing versus a ski lift. Mm. Okay, so now when I tell you that, mountain climb versus ski <laughs> lift, what do you think of? Um, easy. Not easy. Very good, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one takes a lot more time. Yeah. I bet if you were going to climb the mountain, it'd take a little bit more time than if you just took the ski lift up. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. The ski lift, you're kind of a passive person. You're just sitting there. The yeah. mountain climber is definitely all in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one takes, again, a lot of effort, sacrifice, mm -hmm. skill, work. 
the other easy really mm -hmm. well to really get to the top of the mountain and appreciate it yeah the mountain climber is going to appreciate it more than the ski lift absolutely you know so that's where to understand that as we look at our change and we look at our different domains and what are my goals and how am I going to get there and I'm evaluating think mountain climber mm -hmm. think of the effort and everything that goes into it so we're not self-sabotaging ourselves with unrealistic expectations yeah very good great well, thank you for joining us on this uh, little Life Management 101 taste. We will continue this uh, conversation on the domains on the next lecture. Thanks.